the Kansas City Chiefs 30, the Houston Texans 0. And the AFC wild card as the Kansas City Chiefs advance to either play the New England Patriots or the Denver Broncos. The game was started on a 106-yard kickoff return by Niall Davis. Niall Davis started the onslaught off in style. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, Niall Davis alone. He could have been a cancer of the team. He could have threw the biggest fit in the team. He could have said, you know what, screw this. He could have been a major, major problem this season. Because when the Kansas City Chiefs were 1-5, and five, Jamal Charles was injured. Spencer Ware and Charkandrick West, over Pat, they passed over Niall Davis on the depth chart. Niall Davis was outside looking in. And when Jamal Charles got hurt, we all thought, well, Niall Davis has to step up. And then they started giving the ball to Charkandrick West, the second year running back at Abilene Christian. And Spencer Ware, a guy we took from the practice squad from the Seattle Seahawks, a second year running back at LSU. Niall Davis could have tweeted. He could have tweeted ugly stuff. He could have cried to the media. He could have said, you know what? This ain't fair, man. I should be the backup to Jamal Charles. I should be playing. He could have said, me, 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 I, I. He could have made it all about himself. But what did Niall Davis do this entire offseason or this entire season? He shows up to practice and he plays. He shows up to practice and he plays. He's still a special teams guy. And how does he start the game off? Boom! 106 yards later, the Kansas City Chiefs are up seven to nothing and in control of the game. Let's get to the let's get to the defense. My God. Marcus Peters had an interception. Sean Smith had an interception. Eric Berry had an interception. Alvin Bailey had two important sacks. One on fourth down in the second half, and one that that stymied a, the Houston Texans' first real drive in the first quarter that kept them all that knocked the ball out of the hands, and the Chiefs got it, protecting that seven to nothing lead. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God, I'm so happy. It's been 22 years. Chiefs offense. Let's look at this in the Chiefs offense. The first drive, the Chiefs lose their right guard, Lawrence Duvernay Tardif. He's out with a concussion. So the they have the Chiefs have to get Ja Reed to come in and play right guard. Let's keep in mind, he's a tackle. He is a tackle. So you gotta have the Chiefs second drive on. The Chiefs have to have Ja Reed as the right guard. And let's also not forget Zach Fulton is our starting center. Zach Fulton is the Chiefs' starting center, making only his second start of the season. His first start was at Oakland. Zach Fulton's starting at center because Mitch Morris is out with a concussion. Now you're starting right guard Lawrence Duvernay Tardif is out with a concussion problem. So now you got you got a center making a second start against a phenomenal front seven of the Houston Texans, and you got Ja Reed playing right guard who Ja Reed has never played guard. And you got Donald Stevenson making his second start in a row at right tackle because Ja Reed has been injured. I hope you can follow me all, all on that because if you decipher all the little nuances that it goes to make the offensive scheme work, your plays work, that is a challenge in itself. Not to mention, as I you're on the road playing against J.J. Watt, Merciless, a freaking phenomenal front seven, the crowd noise, the Chiefs offense stayed the course and stayed the course and played freaking great. There are two offensive drives where they had to settle for a field goal. They didn't get deeper than the Texans 31 yard line. And they they it was fourth and one on both those possessions. It was back to back. The Chiefs are up seven to nothing. Both teams are kind of feeling each other out with both teams having a great defense. The Chiefs were Chiefs were able to put some plays together where they could get to the Houston Texans 31 yard line. And on both times, it was fourth and one. Chiefs are up fourth and one in the second quarter. Excuse me, what they decided to do, let's kick a field goal and go up 10. Our defense is playing great. I know there may be some haters out there saying, oh, let's go for it, let's go for it, let's go for it. They kicked the field goal, went up 10. The Houston, the Houston Texans ended up having to punt. The Chiefs drove right down the field again. It mirrored the exact same situation. It's fourth and one at the 31. We can kick a field goal and go up 13, or we can just keep trying to make something happen. We took the points. 
Santos made the field goal up 13 or nothing at halftime. You may think, wow, we had four turnovers by halftime. We should be up by more than 13. With the Chiefs having the issues at offensive line, playing on the road against a phenomenal front seven, you take those 13 points. And the Chiefs took those 13 points, and they did the right thing. And then op opening the second half, the Texans got the ball. They drove down to the Kansas City 38-yard line. We stopped that drive right there, got them to punt. The Chiefs went on a 94 yard touchdown drive and now let me delve into the only negative and the only concern during that drive jeremy macklin hurt his knee he didn't look happy he looked extremely upset about his injury you know best wishes to him because he's a great leader he's a he was a he had a thousand yards receiving for the chiefs this year we'd love to have him back in the playoffs next week but he went out and how did the chiefs Reply to Jeremy Macklin getting hurt. They finished that drive and drove 53 more yards after the Jeremy Macklin injury. And how about Chris Conley stepping up, making that catch. Third round rookie draft pick out of Auburn makes a sensational touchdown catch in the middle. Alex Smith threaded the needle. He put it in there. He even pump faked a second, looking off that safe, trying to look him off at the last second. Chucked it in there. Beautiful catch Conley made. Showing that we can we can depend on him if Jeremy Macklin's going to be out next week, but you know, quite frankly, I don't care who we play if it's New England or Denver because this defense is on a mission. Tom Bahali, Justin Houston, they got to play it some today, but you know what Bob Sutton got to do with the Chiefs' defense playing so well? They got some rest. They got some rest, and they. Put in Zombo and D Ford got to play quite a bit more. And uh, outside of the Houston Texans lone drive where they drove down to the three yard line, that was it. The Chiefs' defense is solid. Freaking love the way this team played. I can't wait till we go to New England or Denver because I don't care. We're going to New England and we're going to Denver. And you know what? The Chiefs are going to take care of the Patriots. Or we're going to go back to Denver and say, Denver, Peyton. You should have stayed retired after we freaking chucked your ass out of the game eight, ten weeks ago. Chiefs are on a mission, man. I'm enjoying this, man. I'm enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. Now, let's think about what the Chiefs should do offensively going into next week. Zach Fulton, amazing job at center. Do you go back to Mitch Morris? Ja Reed thrust into position at right guard. Now that um, Lou Arts do our Vernie Tardif, was out with a concussion, do you keep, do you keep Ja Reed at right guard? Donald Stevenson played great at right tackle. You know, solid. What did the Chiefs do next week? What do they do? Do they put Mitch Morse back at center? Do they do they uh, put Ja Reed back at right tackle? It's some questions that Andy Reed has to answer, but I don't really care because I believe in Andy Reed. I believe in this offense. I believe in this team. Alex Smith freaking game manager, and I love game manager at its finest. Are you kidding me? I, I love having a great game manager like Alex Smith. I love this team. Let's take care of business next week. Chiefs, 22-year freaking monkey, is off that back. Chiefs 30, the Texans 0. Until next week in New England or Denver, Shaggy Shane saying, Yeah, baby!